So the standard of care for rectal cancer is to go for surgery, even for very early stage tumors. The only time radiation is used in rectal cancer is for very advanced tumors where the uh, resection margins, circumferential resection margins are involved. So they get chemo radiation or radiation to try and downstage them to make them operable from inoperable situation. And that's the only time that radiation is indicated in, in, the, in the protocols and the guidelines. So we are interested in early stage tumors, trying to avoid major surgery, especially for very early stage tumors, where they end up having a permanent stoma and major surgery that involves, you know, eight hour operation, staying in hospital for five to 10 days and end up with the permanent stoma and over half the patients. So for patients, when they're not fit for major surgery, that is an option that we were using before. But more and more we're seeing younger, fitter patients trying to avoid major surgery because they don't want a permanent stoma. And that's where our story begins. So what we try to do is after the external beam chemo radiotherapy or radiation, there are people who responded very well, and this is uh, what we call clinical complete response. And this uh, um, strategy was led by Professor Habagama from Sao Paulo in Brazil, where she's just watched them in people who responded to treatment. And that was how we got our inspiration. But we were doing it on elderly patients who are not quite fit for major surgery, giving this treatment. And we're finding that if they respond well, we just watch them and, and they don't need any surgery. So <clears throat> for younger, fitter patients who are fit for surgery and refusing it, they get external beam chemo radiation. And in about half the patient, they do respond well, but then, the patients who do respond well, in a quarter of these patients, the cancer start to grow and they needed surgery. So the organ preservation rate, if you just give external beam alone, is less than half. So with dose escalation using the contact radiation boost, after chemo radiation, we would boost with uh, contact radiation, especially in patients who had a resi small residual tumor. So we don't boost it for people who achieve a clinical complete response, but only for people with small residual tumor. If you give additional dose of radiation with contact radiation boost, what we found was the local regrowth rates were almost halved. So only about uh, 10 to 15% had to regrowth. So our organ preservation rate is quite high. So we have done this randomized trial called OPERA, where we randomized chemo radiation, 45 grain, 25 fractions over five weeks with oral capecitabine, given, followed by uh, external, beam, con uh, external beam radiation boost, nine gray in five fraction. So the total dose is 54 gray in 30 fraction, which is what Habagama was advocating. That is an arm A randomized against arm B, which is giving external beam chemo radiation, 45 grain, 25 fractions of a five weeks with Cape Cytobane, followed by contact radiation boost, where we give 90 gray, 30 gray every two weeks for three fraction. So we're comparing nine gray external beam versus 90 gray contact, which is quite a high dose. And what we found was in tumor less than three centimeter, if we give contact radiation boost, upfront, the organ preservation rate at three years is 97% as opposed to 63% when we give external beam alone. So this is highly significant and hopefully this data when published will be um, level one evidence and that this will be practice changing for patients with rectal cancer. So hopefully for younger, fitter patients who wanted to avoid major surgery, or older patients who are fit but want to avoid surgery, this level one evidence will provide the evidence for them to avoid surgery and uh, just uh, give external beam radiation with contact radiation boost. So hopefully this will be a practice changing um, you know, uh, experience for uh, people and a lot of young fit patients who want to avoid major surgery who would benefit from this trial.